The problem with writing your memoir is that you get great ideas at the worst possible times. Here I am sent to retrieve the MacGuffin Magnetometer 2.0, and all I can think of is the next chapter of my book. Now where was I? Oh, in order to be a successful spy, you need to have two key things in your arsenal, equipment and tradecraft skills. One important skill that comes in handy is the ability to play dead. Playing dead is a great way to lull an enemy agent into a false sense of security. What? No. Now, a lot of spies like to play dead with their eyes closed, but the problem is you can't see what's going on. I like to play dead with my eyes open. You can see everything that's going on, but one blink and you'll be taking the big dirt nap for real. And if you have a protruding tongue and blood capsule, that is cherry on the sundae. I got her. Yep, as dead as a poodle in the microwave. Send a team over, I'll search her in the meantime. Agent Bromide out. Eyes open. Nice touch. I studied with Lee Strasberg. <sighs> Eyes open. Nice touch. Gadgets, gizmos, and tchotchkes are vital to the success and longevity of any good spy. I have several connections in this department, including my Uncle Waverly, my mother's brother. He was a top field agent and gizmo guru back in the day, but seems to be stuck in the year 1970. Hi, Uncle Waverly. Come in. Hello, sugar dear. How are you? I'm fine now. You're looking smashing. Thank you. Nice safe house. Mm. Reminds me of 
Istanbul. Although I liked it better when they used to call it Constantinople. They got great coffee. Great taffy too, you have to try that. You're looking fit, Uncle Waverly. Uh, thank you. I don't smoke, I don't drink, and I don't fool around. I owe it all to clean living. If you call that living. Huh? So what do you have for me? Oh, uh... <laughs> a finger? <laughs> it's a 38 caliber finger. Single shot. You can really give somebody the finger with that. Huh? I said you can really give somebody the finger. Oh, uh, sorry. I lost my eardrum uh, to a limpet mine in the Aegean Sea. That was 1972. But let me tell you, <laughs> this saved my arse in Hoboken. Came in real handy. Get it? Uh, hand, handy? <laughs> You're a real camp, Uncle Waverly. Uh. Sniper rifle. You can knock a flea off a hyena's arse at 500 yards. And don't tell me, I get AM, FM, and the Weather Channel, right? Does it play eight track shapes? Oh, no, but, but this does. <laughs> Pull this handle up, twist it, and it'll take out a whole city block. And it plays eight track tapes. Really? Slim Whitman's greatest hits. Well, if the explosion doesn't kill him. You don't see one of those every day, how 1965. Hmm. Well, push this button here, becomes a fully automatic machine gun. Lovely. This will come in very handy if I go undercover as a tourist with a 16 millimeter movie camera. It saved my arse in Uzbekistan, let me tell you. You have to buy your own film, though. Oh, well, I'm sure I can get 16 millimeter film at any drugstore. Uh, now, this is my favorite. Camera and a 38 caliber pistol. Holds a full roll of film and a 15 shot magazine. It's an awfully big camera, don't you think? I mean, today we take pictures and video with our smartphones. Can you fit a 38 caliber pistol in that smartphone? No. Then it's not very smart, is it? No expensive sports car with an ejector seat? Well, the ejector seat didn't turn out the way you think it would. That's custom state-of-the-art work. It saved my hour since Schenectady. Oh, Schenectady, what a town. <laughs> Let me tell you, it'll save your arse, too. Mark my words. Didn't you know it? Uncle Waverly was right. It did come in handy. Here in an hour, I don't want any crap from you. One of the annoying hazards of the spy trade is that you find yourself captured, imprisoned, tortured, or tied up from time to time. The thing that pisses, uh, raises my ire is that everyone feels it's necessary to rescue me. Just because I'm tied up. I worked as a magician's assistant during my salad days, and I'm quite skilled at getting out of everything from jail cells to handcuffs to jury duty to, you guessed it, ropes. Stage left. <laughs> what 
is it with you guys and masks? I'm impressed with your skills, Miss West. But this isn't two out of three falls. It's to the death. Is there any other way? Another vital skill in any spy's arsenal is the art of self-defense. I had the advantage of being trained by my mom and dad at a young age and picked up a few useful tricks at the spy academy. I turned it all into my own unique fighting style. Sandra Fu. I learned that from Sergeant Rowdy Hogan, the giant sheik. Let's see what's under this mask. <laughs> So, needless to say, I completed my mission and liberated the MacGuffin Magnetometer 2.0. I also found this. I hope I can get a few bucks for it. Pretty. If I can't sell it, I'll just put it on my bookcase.